Hey guys, it's April from Good Books and Good Wine, and it's been forever since I've done one of these uh, video um, book vlogs. So, hey booktube, I've missed you. Um, the very last booktube video that I made was back in November. Um, just a little background on why I haven't been making videos. Um, something pretty awful happened to me in November. I had my heart broken. Um, but you know, you rebuild, you come back, you find your friends, your family, and you move forward. And so I just, I really had to take a break from books and blogging and making videos for a while. But now I'm back. I'm confident things are better than ever. Um, there's someone new in my life and he is awesome. Um, I hope he doesn't watch this video because that's kind of embarrassing because I'm super dorky. I mean, not that my dorkiness is a secret to this person. Obviously, they know by now that I am kind of a huge nerd and they're kind of a big nerd too. So, two peas in a pod. Okay guys, so it's been forever since I've talked to you about the books that have come in my mail. Um, this video is going to be really freaking long, so apologies in advance because I have a million books to get through. Okay? Okay. So, first up in my mail is Ever After at Sweetheart Ranch by Emma Kane. And the tagline on the back is, The only thing hotter than a cowboy is a cowboy in love. Sign me up. Sign me up for this. Uh, I don't even care. I love romance books and I'm excited for this. These next two books are companion novels with each other. They are Trouble from the Start and The Boyfriend Project by Rachel Hawthorne. I'm not really sure what they're about except that I really like the covers and I'm really excited to read them. Uh, they look like fun romance books so that's kind of my thing. Burn by Walter Jury and Sarah Fine. This is the sequel slash conclusion to Scan, which I read last summer and quite enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to finding out what happens next. And also, I just, I love duologies lately. Um, I'm reading one right now, The Blackbird Duology by Anna Carey, and it's exciting. Just two books that I have to get through, not like 16 that I have to just finish. So yay! Anything Could Happen by Will Walton. I don't know what this is about, but I love the book cover. Galgorhythm by Erin Caro. Um, Erin Caro wrote Lexapros and Cons, which I read last year and really loved. And I guess this is about a guy who writes an algorithm for dating and love. Um, I'm excited for that. I think it's going to be fantastic and really funny and also really nerdy. So looking forward to this. Trapped by Jenny Martin. Um, I guess that this is like the Fast and the Furious mixed with Firefly. Um, my boyfriend keeps insisting <laughs> that I need to read it really fast so that, you know, he knows if it's good or not and if he wants to read it or not um, because of the summary which I read to him and he's like, oh, that sounds so awesome. That's not how he talks, by the way. That's just my imitation of people who get excited when I describe books to them. The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle M. Page, and this is the sequel to, um, God, I don't even freaking remember. Oh, Dorothy Must Die, which I thought was okay. I didn't love, and I'm in the minority on that. Most people love it, but I don't. However, I will read this because it's a lot shorter, and the cover is really cool, and I just went hiking at Chittenango Falls, which actually is where L. Frank Baum is from, and they are opening up a casino that is Wizard of Oz themed, so it's kind of like my own backyard. Gotta read the book. From the novel, I got this super awesome pack, which I'm sure if you watch booktube videos, you've probably seen other people receive. But within it was a copy of Those Girls by Lauren Saft, and it's like a book about mean girls, which means I'm going to love it. Kissing Ted Callahan and Other Guys by... Oh, who the fuck is her name? By Amy Spaulding, who wrote um, The Reese Malcolm List, which I really enjoyed. So I'm actually really looking forward to this one. 
A Million Miles Away by Laura Avery. Um, okay, so the back cover mentions this as being perfect for fans of Nicholas Sparks. So I think someone's going to die in this book. That's just a guess. Someone's going to die. I'm still going to read it, though. Okay, this is really darky because I'm so excited for this book. But um, Better When He's Bad by Jay Crownover. It's the sequel to the other book. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Or no, this is Better When He's Bold, and it's the sequel to Better When He's Bad, which I really liked. I'm sorry, these books are my guilty pleasures, and I love them, and I will defend them to the death. Um, I love these books, and I'm really excited to read this. I haven't read it yet. From Amazon Vine, I got a copy of Trouble is a Friend of Mine by Stephanie Tromley. I basically picked this out because it looks kind of funny, but also romantic. It's described as a romance, and I'm all about the romance. The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Pulley. Basically, this is historical fantasy. It's being compared to Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which is like the longest book ever, but really good. Like... It was worth all of those pages and I'm hoping slash thinking that this book will be worth all the pages. I mean it's kind of short but the type is really small compared to what I'm used to. So Also from Amazon Vine, Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. I have an audiobook copy of this so it's likely that I'll be listening to that and basically it's about the destruction of a yacht and this girl suspects that it's foul play and not just an accident. So yeah gonna be exciting. Lionheart by A.C. Goggin. This is the sequel to Lady Thief, which I am currently reading on my Kindle. I'm so excited for this book. So excited. I can't even. So from Penguin, I got this awesome trilogy by Elizabeth George, which is not the same person as Elizabeth Craighead Spear. George, you know, like The Witch of Blackbird Island. You guys remember that book? That book was baller in fourth grade. Still baller now, by the way. Okay, so the three books are The Edge of Nowhere, The Edge of the Water, and The Edge of the Shadows. So essentially, this girl just keeps wandering into the edge. I got a copy of The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johnson. I'm really excited for this sequel. It's thick, it's awesome, it's going to be one of my summer reads for sure. One author that has never ever disappointed me, that's never failed me, is Matthew Quick. And so I luckily got an advanced copy of Love May Fail and I cannot wait to read this. The Perfect Letter, a novel by Chris Harrison, um, and I guess this is the host of The Bachelor, but I've never really watched The Bachelor, so I don't know yet about reading this. We'll see. So this book came with an awesome frosted cookie that I ate immediately, and that is off the page by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Um, I haven't read the original book, Between the Lines, but I don't know, this one looks cool and it says that it's a companion book so I think that means that they can be read separately and I'll still know like what's going on, which is awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much all that I have the time to show you guys right now. There's quite a few more, um, I'll go through them in my next video. Alright guys, see you around.